In this video I'm going to show you a really quick way to trace images in Adobe Flash. Now, in a previous tutorial I did show you how to use the line tool to trace images and while that's all well and good it can be very time consuming. So Flash has come up with an easier way to trace pictures and Flash does all the hard work for you. So I've gone on to Google Images and I found a picture of this little pink monster. So I'm going to just copy that image because I really like this one. I want to use it in my animation. You can set up your file however you want. Okay, in case I want to make an app later, I'm going to choose Air for Android. And I'll just go to the Fit in Window option here. And I'm just going to simply paste that picture in the center. Okay, and there's my picture. What I'm going to do is just zoom in a bit. And while I've selected this picture with my black arrow, I'm going to go up to the Modify menu, Bitmap, and then Trace Bitmap. Then when the box comes up, You've got a number of settings here that you can play around with. I've got my color threshold set to 50 and my minimum area as 8 pixels. Okay, you can play around with these settings and get different um, views of your image. So if I click preview now, it quickly traces my picture. And it's a little bit of a messy job. Okay, the lines aren't exactly straight. It doesn't look as good as it could. So what I might do is change that color threshold. I might bump it up to 150 and we'll preview it again. You start to see it's looking a little bit better. Not exactly great, but it saves us a lot of time um, than having to do it with the pen tool. You can play around with these different um, options here. Okay, so let's see what smooth curve fit does. Smooth it out a bit. We'll try pixels. That's not too bad. Let's see what very tight does. Well, very tight looks pretty nice. So lots of different options you can use here. I might stick with the tight curve fit for this one. I think that looks pretty pretty much like the original picture. Um, we won't worry about this too much. I'll see what few corners looks like for the corner threshold. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. And we'll just look at this minimum area. Let's drop that down to, say, 3 pixels and see what happens. And that doesn't look too bad. If I turn it up to about 20 pixels, let's see the result. Okay, not too much difference, okay? So it's up to you to play around with these settings until you get a picture you like. When you're happy, you click OK, and your picture is now traced for you, and it's become a vector image that can be scaled up and down, and it will not lose quality. One thing I like to do is click on this background and just delete it, and that way I'm left with just my picture. I can highlight that picture now as well. Go to Modify and convert it to a symbol. Okay, and I can use that as a movie clip or a graphic, however I need to use it in my animations. I'll just call it Monster. And that's now converted to a symbol. I can grab the scale tool here. If I just zoom out a bit, I can resize it all I want, and it's not going to lose any quality. Okay, so it's a very quick way to trace and color in any image in Flash. Remember that the cartoons, they're the ones that are going to work best. Things like photos are not going to trace well in this program. Okay, it's made for vectors and that's mainly the cartoon type images with less than say 256 colors. Okay, so a simple video on how to trace pictures using the trace command in Flash.